in this app we can always use automatic irrigation if we want the models to calculate automatically the irrigation dates and amounts. In principle we have four main alternatives for automatic irrigation as shown in this table. The switch to choose an alternative might be A, F, T or E and they differ basically in the criteria that we use to calculate the dates or the amount of irrigation. For alternatives A and F, the dates of irrigation are calculated according to the water content for a given depth we fix a given amount to trigger the irrigation. For instance, in this case, we have a defined an irrigation management depth of 100 centimeters and we say that irrigation should be applied when the threshold, when the soil water content falls below 20% of available water in that depth. The same would go for switch F. So for these two alternatives, the date of irrigation will be that defined by the, the water content 20% of water content available in a depth of 100 centimeters. On the other hand, switches T and E are based on a fixed water deficit. So the program accumulates evapotranspiration minus rainfall. So after a given water deficit occurs in the soil, an irrigation will occur. In this case, so the irrigation management depth for these two switches is the cumulative de deficit that triggers irrigation and would have units of millimeters. On the other hand, we, how can we or how does the, the model calculate irrigation amounts? In the case of A, automatic irrigation, the amount is calculated according to the water content as a percent. And the parameter in this case would be 100, meaning that after irrigation, the soil would be 100% filled in this depth that was previously defined. On the other hand, with a F that goes for fixed, the amount of irrigation would be a fixed amount in millimeters. For uh, alternatives T and E that base the date of irrigation according to a fixed water deficit in millimeters for uh, alternative T we use a fixed amount of irrigation expressed in millimeters and on the other hand for alternative E the amount of irrigation is calculated as a percent of this previous value so if we are using a fixed water deficit of 100 and we put here 100 for E through for the E through parameter, then we would apply 100% of the, this fixed water deficit. So in summary, the four main alternatives for automatic irrigation differ on the criteria for calculating the dates and the amounts. For A and F, the dates are based, are calculated according to the water content on a management depth and fixing a percentage of available water. For T and E, the dates are related to a fixed water deficit. And then for alternatives A, we use a percent of water content after irrigation. And for alternative E, a percent of the fixed water deficit. While for F and T, we use fixed amounts for irrigation. Each of these alternatives are implemented in the experiment files. For instance, we have here an example for um, uh, an experiment file for maize, extension MZX, and this is the experiment UCCO9301. And then inside the automatic management and within irrigation, we have for this treatment one defined these parameters as P 
previously seen, we, put he we can put here different rows for specifying when a given criteria for automatic irrigation starts. That would be the parameter below the IR on column. For instance, in this case, we say that these criteria are, uh, are implemented after, so after sowing, while the second row for automatic irrigation is related or starts to be applied at floral initiation. So we can, uh, according to the growth stage, we can change the criteria for automatic irrigation. In this case, we are using, here we see that the, uh, the switch for irrigation is A, which means automatic irrigation using water content on a depth of 60 centimeters after sowing, then would irrigate whenever water content falls below 50 and we would return the soil to 100% of available water after irrigating. Then after flower initiation this criteria is changed to a greater depth 80 centimeters and irrigating one water content falls to 40% of available water. Then we would return the soil to 100% of, uh, of available water. We have prepared a file, for example, showing the four uh, alternatives for irrigating. For a maize experiment run in Cordoba, we have these four A, F, T and E automatic irrigation alternatives. We run the model and then in the once the simulations have been performed we go to analysis and we can check the file ome that shows the events on the management for the crop here we see the different events including fertilizers application or irrigation this would be the a alternative which means that we irrigate when the water content in a depth, in a fixed depth, falls below a given value, and then the water content is increased according to a fixed percent. So we have a yield around 12 tons. The second uses, which is the uh, F alternative, uses a fixed amount of irrigation. The third uses a fixed uh, water deficit to trigger irrigation and applies a fixed amount of irrigation and the fourth uses also a fixed deficit to trigger irrigation and applies a percent of the cumulative deficit at that moment. We see that the four alternatives have yielded almost the same yield, around 12 tons of maize. These simulations have been done with water data in Cordoba and anybody interested in having this file for their, for uh, as an example, yeah, uh, will can can have it. 